Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nitin Garg. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can create the branches, pull request and set up the branch policies in the Azure DevOps. If you are interested to this topic, please stick to the end of this video. So let's get started. Before we dive into the Azure DevOps and create branches and pull requests, let's first understand the purpose of why we need the pull request and branches. Let's see why we need branches. Branches are required during the development lifecycle. Developer can create branches so that they can make the changes independently and safely without impacting the master or a release branch. Now let's understand why we need the pull request. Once developer finish and commit the changes in the branch, they open a pull request to merge those changes into the release or master branch. With the help of the pull request, developer can assign the code reviewer so that code reviewer can review the code and provide the feedback on the changes before the changes merge into the master or release branch. Once reviewer approve the pull request, the changes will get merged into the target branch that is release or master branch. In this way, with the help of branches and a pull request, development team can safely make the changes and merge the changes into the release and master branch. Let's see it in action how we can do it in Azure DevOps. Let's log into the Azure DevOps account. This is the project where my repo exists. If I go to the repo, this is the repository that I'm gonna clone and create the branches. To clone the repo, I just need to copy this URL. Let's open a folder where we can clone this repo. Cool. Let's create a folder called YouTube demo and here we'll open a command prompt and write the command line git clone now my repository has been cloned let's open this solution if you see this repo we have only one branch which is the master branch so first we'll create a task branch or a feature branch we can say make the changes in the feature branch and then feature branch will get merged to the master branch via pull request so if you see currently it is pointing to the master branch you can create the branches either from the azure devops by clicking here click on the new branch and give the branch name I will do it through the Visual Studio. To create the branch from the Visual Studio, navigate to the Team Explorer. Click on Git Repository. Here you can see the default is master selected. You can right click. Click on New Local Branch From and give the branch name features slash This is the branch name and this is the folder in which this branch get created. So when I create the branch, there is a folder get created named as features and under that folder, this YouTube demo pull request branch get created. You can also select from which branch that you need to generate a new local branch. So in my case, I need to generate it from the master. So I select it as master and click on create branch. It's not check out this one. Just click on the create branch. A new branch get created. And if you see the folder also get created called as feature. Let's push that branch so that we can also see it in our DevOps. Right now we only have one branch, which is master. So if I push this, the new branch YouTube demo pull request is also get created in our Azure DevOps repo. Let's refresh it. 
if you see there's a new folder get created feature and under that folder this branch get uh, created let's write some code and then we can commit the changes to this youtube demo pull request branch and we can also create a pull request to merge the new set of changes that we are doing in this branch to merge it into the master via pull request so let's check out this branch click on check out now i switch from master to youtube demo pull request let's write one quick line of code so for just testing purpose i'll write a single i'll just print a message this is the change to demo pull request and let's commit that change Changes to that message. We'll commit that change. I will push that change. I'll push that change to this branch. So when I go to the feature branch, I can see the new changes that I have done is being here. Whenever you are checking a new set of changes, Azure DevOps automatically shows this message like there's a new change has been created. You want to generate a pull request. If you want to generate a pull request through the Azure DevOps, you can click the create pull request. It open up new pull request window here. This is the branch where I need to generate the pull request from and this is the branch where I need to merge to the target branch. So in, in this case, I'm merging into the master branch. You can give the title. Let's say I just need to demo first pull request. I can change the description. Eating this pull request to demonstrate how to generate PR via Azure DevOps. And I can assign the reviewer to this who can review the review my code and give me the feedback whether the changes that I have planning to merge into the master are okay or if there's any suggestion or any changes further changes is needed so this is the reviewer can review my code and give me the feedback on this pr i can explain this work item to link when i'm discussing on the branch policy for now just create this pr let's log in as a reviewer and see this pr and provide the feedback or you can say let's review this pr so this is the account, another account for which I assign this PR. Let me log in. So I am logged in as a reviewer with my reviewer account. And if I go to this project again, go to the pull request, I can see this is the pull request that is assigned to me for the review. So if I click on this, I can see the title of the PR. I can also see there's no merge conflict with this PR. Also see the description of that PR. When I go to the file section, I can see the list of files. Um, those were get changed. Here I can see this is the message that is get deleted and this is the new message that is being added. So I can either approve the PR and if I feel like I need to give any feedback, uh, I can simply click here and give the feedback. Please 
update the message to include author name let's say this is the feedback that i wanted to give to the developer who has generated this pr so that he can review that change and make the necessary updates so i comment and sign out now let's log in as a developer who originally generated so this is the account that i used to generate this pr when i log in into that account project if i go to the pull request i can see the reviewer has given a new comment and feedback to my original pr so if i select that pr i can see this is the reviewer message and this is the change that reviewer wanted me to do so i can either reject that change i can resolve that change or i can close that pr or generate the new pr so let's take an example i wanted to make that change so i'll go to that code again click here and just include the author name so this is the change that my reviewer wanted me to make so i made that change i go back and commit the latest change fixed changes suggested by reviewer can commit my changes and push the changes right. to the youtube demo branch once the changes has been pushed i can see in my azure devops account it is showing me that the the changes has been done and if i refresh i can see the latest changes here now i'll mark that pr as resolve and write a comment to my reviewer again i have made the changes as you suggested please review and prove if looks good so when next time the reviewer reviews this pr they can see the updated changes as well as uh, the comment let's quickly see it this is the account that i'm using as a reviewer let me log into that account again so if i go to the pull request again i can see a new push has been added and a new comment is being uh, made by the developer or who has generated this pr so when i click i can see the updated comment as well as the changes that i'm requesting so if i go to the files i can see the updated changes here now i feel like okay this is good i'm good with this change now what i can do i can approve that change i can also merge this change from here or i can just simply approve it and the developer who has generated this pr can merge that change so for now i'm just merging that change so i'll mark that as complete and complete the merge so in this way once the merge is being completed the changes that i have done will get merged into the master branch so here you can see the merge is being completed so if i go back to the branches and click on the master navigate to the programs i can see this is the change set that has been done in the in my feature branch get merged into the master via pull request these are the simple steps how you can create the branches and merge your chain set to your master or release branches via the pull request in azure devops you can create the branch policies so whenever you have to create the branch policies for any specific branch click on these three dot click on the branch policies 
this will open the page where you can have the list branch policy listed so like here we can see there are a number of branch policies one thing you have to note like anytime when you enable any of these branch policy if any required policy is being enabled the branch cannot be deleted or changes must be made via the pull request so anytime when you enable any of the policy then in that case that branch cannot be deleted and any merge cannot be directly happen it should have to be via the pull request I can show you one of the branch policy that I commonly used which is the check for link work item. So let's say if I enabled it for the master branch and I will create a new PR for that I just need to make modification. To my code so that I can generate the PR. this is the line that i have added so that i can quickly commit that change and create the pr test run. let's push the change So here you can see I have configured the branch policy for this branch check for link work item. So anytime when I create a pull request to merge into the master branch, I have to link the work item. And if I don't link the work item, then the branch, the PR would not be created successfully. So for example, if I go to the pull request and try to create a new pull request and let's say if I give the approver and did not link the work item and try to create you can see the PR get failed and it says that one required check failed work item must be linked so here I add a work item and now you can see this PR get success so this is how you can create the branches pull request and branch policy using the Azure DevOps. I hope you like this video. Please hit the like button, comment and subscribe to my channel.